King, you can't discount Curtis Axel here tonight. No, you can't, Cole. This is a guy who holds victories over the likes of Triple H and Chris Jericho. Oh, out of nowhere! Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in! Well, on the topic of Curtis Axel here, tell us your thoughts. You know, we have a lot of fun at the expense of Heath Slater's supposed music career. But there's one thing that's undeniable. He has at least one. Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. You're talking about someone who has all the talent necessary to become one of the all-time greats. And he's still in this. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. He's fought out of it. Uh-oh. What's our truth gonna do with this? This could be big. He Slater's smash hit can stop any superstar in his tracks, King. That's for sure. Yeah, as if a DDT isn't devastating enough. Slater lifts his opponents in the air to give a little extra impact. Now that's a smash hit. Oh, he couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Things really are bigger in Texas, and I can tell you that this Dallas crowd is no exception. Heath Slater gets out of that one. Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. Some power on display with that takedown. And he's still in this. Looking to build momentum. And Damian Sandow reverses it. Well, if you're in the ring with Heath Slater, you have to look out for his missile dropkick. If you don't see that coming, it's liable to knock you silly. He's coming back in. He's got his eyes set on his chest. Play a downward thrust on that elbow drop. Ooh, it landed right on the money, too. Our truth start here. The warm up the bus. Here comes our truth. Sandow reverses it. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. As you noted earlier, Ken, you definitely have to look out for Heath Slater's missile dropkick. And they pushed him out. They got He's gone. And just like that, it's time for Heath Slater to hit the showers. Just making his presence felt there. was close. He's coming back through the ropes. And Damian Sandow reverses it. No punishment. I mean, the back of the cranium is just being pummeled. This guy is going to have a permanent headache. This guy's just too strong. He's in big trouble. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. Oh, my. He's wild in there. Some very opportunistic offense here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. One of the most punishing finishers in WWE is Curtis Axel's hangman face buster. Axel works over his opponent's neck and back the entire match and then executes this maneuver. It looks so gruesome that I'm always amazed Axel's opponents are able to get up from it when the match is over. And that's it for Bo Dallas. Well, I guess he just didn't believe in himself enough. Well, look at what we have here. This should be of any surprise to anyone. I'm not surprised. Curtis. And that's an elimination for Sandow. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. Oh, the rolling 
neck snap. Believe me, that is painful. We've seen Curtis Axel utilize the DDT in perfect flex in the past as finishing moves. So what does that tell you about the power behind the hangman's face buster? Just take a look at what happens to an opponent's limp body after being on the receiving end of it. Yeah, Michael, the hangman's face buster is a brutal, brutal finisher. I mean, you can actually hear the skull of Axel's opponent hit the canvas. Seeing them laying there motionless on the mat is definitely a disturbing image, especially because Axel gloats about it afterwards. These guys are giving it absolutely everything. And he's tripled up. Wow, what a tremendous victory. And here's some highlights from the matchup. simple it's all about wins and losses and it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out guys it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win